Hi everyone, welcome. Thank you for uh, watching our video. We have a game presented for you for the K-12 Gameathon video challenge. I'm Brian Sawyer. I'm a teacher at New Learning Path High School, and I'm representing Team Awesome. So I'm a student representing Team Awesome. My teammate and I actually created this game over here that use that utilizes math concepts such as angles and slopes on a graph. Now we can see, um, while I could have designed an 11th grade game, I chose to make a game that works more for fifth, sixth, and fifth, fifth and sixth graders. And this is mainly because my brother or my younger brother is actually in fifth grade. Unfortunately, my teammate couldn't make it today. He's six, so I'll be filling in for him. So here's the board. We can see it's just a basic pegboard that looks like a graph with some points on it, very similar to the graph over here. So here are some of the pieces, and you can put a lot of these pieces on the board to make different paths and different shapes. A lot of them are removable. Now, I had to use a lot of different math concepts to make the pieces work for different slopes and different lines in order to achieve the main goal of the game, which is to get this ball from the top of the pegboard to the bottom. And so we have used different concepts such as slopes and lines in order to achieve this goal. All right, so I have a couple of slopes right. math questions for you. Can you tell me the slope of that line? So because this piece goes down three and over three, the slope would be negative three over three, meaning that the slope would actually be negative one. All right, very good. This angle here, we said that this was three down and three over. So as right. a triangle, if I looked at this just as a triangle, what's this angle right here? Well, we know that properties of triangle, all three angles in a triangle actually add up to 180 degrees. And given that these two sides are equal, we can determine that this is actually a 90 degrees right here. So these two, because they're equivalent to each other in angles, we just divide 90 by 2, and you would get 45 degrees for both of these angles. All right, thank you. Now, what parts did you use, and how did you make this? So as you can see, I used a pegboard to sample the, or to simulate a graph, and then I used cardboard and glue and scissors in order to make the individual pieces and um, support them in order to have the ball roll down from the top to the bottom. Oh, so these were all pieces that you could have made with household items. Right, exactly. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching our uh, video here from Team Awesome. <laughs>